In this module, we will be talking about heat maps. First of all, go to your dashboard. You can do that by clicking here or by choosing your site from the drop down here. If you have many sites, you will need to choose your site first. Then go to the heat maps by clicking here. Once you are in the heat maps page, you can see that you have an option to create a new heat map. If you have created heat maps before, it will show up with the statuses, the date created, and the page views the heat maps have got. We will start by creating a new heat map. First of all, what you will see is this snapshot size. Whenever people view your website, they are recorded. Snapshot size indicates the number of people who are recorded in the heat map. For example, if you choose 1000, the first 1000 people viewing the site will get recorded. If you choose 2000, activities of first 2000 people viewing the site will get recorded. I'll leave it at 2000. Next is the name. You'll need to name this heat map. I'll name it example homepage heat map. Next, you will need to enter the page URL for which you need to create the heat map. For me, I'll enter the home page which is www.createmyblog.net. Copy it and then paste it here. You will see that you have an option of simple match, exact match, starts with, ends with, contains regular expression. You don't need to worry about any of this. If you want to track the home page, just use this simple match. If you want to track the home page with excluding other paths, for example, uh, if you get traffic from Facebook, you can include question mark UTM underscore SOURCE is equal to Facebook. If you want to track source from Facebook and you add such tags in Facebook advertisements, you can use this exact match or you can use this ends with and put in Facebook over here. Then in the next step, you can put in the site URL here but however as of now we'll just measure the main page so we'll choose simple match and input the site url here then click create heat map as you can see a heat map has been created the status this status indicates that the heat map is collecting data now comes the sample size that is you saw that when you created the last heat map you chose 2000 as sample size which means that this heat map will be complete only after 2000 people have viewed this page and they have been recorded. If they haven't, it will show this as collecting data and you can also pause for which it will show as paused. Now we'll show some activity in the home page. Go to home page, refresh it and then just do some selection over here, random clicks, then click this link. Once the next page starts loading, you can close this and then see if changes have been updated in the heat map. After waiting some time, you can see that the visit has been tracked. It's showing page views 1 and you can click view heat map to see where visitors have clicked. So you can see I have clicked here. It's showing us one click. Then you can also see move and scroll data. You see I moved over here for a few times, it is showing us move data and finally the scroll data. You see 100%, I saw this part 100% and the web page is really short so it is showing 100%. Now once you have started recording the visitors of your page, you can keep sending traffic to that page. For example, uh, for this page, for this page, I sent around some 936 visitors let it load I sent some 936 visitors and after uh, collecting data from many visitors you can see how people behave when they see your page in the next lecture we will see how to interpret this data modify the site to increase its ROI see you in the next lecture